<sighs> Pokemon meme review! Greetings, Pokey fans. Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of Ask Pinapie. At some point in the past, I asked you my series where I react to submissions on my subreddit and a curated slideshow. And since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon Meme Review. I'm talking a little funny today. I got a little sore on the side of my tongue. I wish it weren't there. Yeah, it hurts, uh, but I'm dealing with it. And now for the first and most important meme of the video, Mine. Behold my Pokemon Legends ZA meme. It is pizza. It's got almost 40,000 retweets. I'm calling them retweets still. I refuse to call this site X, which is almost as successful as my image about the Sprite in Eterna City, which I think got like 40. I don't remember. Now down here in Playmore Esports says we gotta talk. This is PM7's esports team. They also made a pizza joke, as did Katie my lovely editor. However, I did not see theirs before I made mine. And sorry, y'all, I love you, but mine is the best one. I made a new logo and everything. Wrong. But anyways, now to the subreddit, sorted by top in the past month. I'm excited to see what we've got. It's been an eventful month, not only with the announcement of Pokemon Legends ZA, but also I did my Miltank playthrough. A true reunion by Kiana May Art on Tumblr. I have heard of this artist before. What are you doing all the way out here, Pops? Okay, I think she does a lot of art where Jesse and Ash's mom are romantically involved, hence the Pops usage. Cause in the anime, that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> During that you called me, that's Viper needed a bath and I didn't want to freak out your mom by giving it a bath in our shower. Thoughtful of you. Hey, I know she never have Arbok around anymore. What happened to it? You've just noticed, thanks for paying attention. Sorry, I was too focused on keeping my Pikachu from being stolen every day. Well, back in home, some ignoramus was poaching Atkins and coughings. Seeing those little guys being treated so bad broke Arbok and Weezing's hearts. We let them go so they could protect those poor Pokemon while we stopped the poacher. I stopped that poacher? Why is that so hard to believe? Don't answer that. <laughs> Must've been really hard for you. Was. Arbok was the first Pokemon I ever had. Sad. I hope it's doing okay. Well, if your Pokemon are anything like you, I'm sure it's hanging in there. Thanks, kid. Ah! Hey! Ash comes home saying, I'm so excited. It'll be nice to have him back for a while. Mom, Jesse, I'm home. Look who I found in Hoenn. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Arbok? Aww. Look at you, you look stronger. Arbok! <laughs> Is that a baby? Are you a papa now? <laughs> Me too. Aw, that's very sweet. Wait, did you find Weezing too? Yeah, I've dropped it off at James and Meow's before I came over here. <laughs> Aw, that's just very nice. Before reading Mega Pokemon Dex entries. Power of friendship, so cool. After reading the Dex entries. Yeah, I, I know all these. Uh, basically, most of them are tortured. Part of me thinks they did that because all these Dex entries are from Gym 7. They're like, hey, we're gonna get rid of these soon and we like want people to be okay with it. And like, because they're like, oh, it's okay we get rid of it because we're torturing them. And then like, Six years later, they're like, boom, it's back, look! <laughs> Y'all gonna get to torture him again! The burden of being a protagonist. I was verbally abused by my rival. I was physically abused by my rival. I experienced the peak of global warming. I was sent to a terrorist site by my professor. I miss N. I was almost made responsible for a genocide. I saw an alternate timeline of my region in ruin. I saw about 255 Pokemon get erased. Oh, they're just not there. I'm responsible for one of my friends being an orphan and almost losing their dog. Losing their dog. Oh, the Scarlet and Violet one is not responsible for that. Everything was predestined. Against their will. Weird, right? Bates, so their string. In all kinds of crazy patterns. It's gonna be me! No, it's gonna be me! Ta-da! I'm very excited to get gameplay of Legend ZA. Like, it's it's cool that we're getting it, but I, I wanna see what it's gonna look like. How the Pokemon Center heals them so fast by Katie Tydrick. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon full health. Okay, yeah, take it for a few seconds, put them in. Burn them! <laughs> We restore your Pokemon to full health, we hope to see you again. All right, that's very silly. <laughs> IVs exist, y'all. Pikachu said LGBT rights. Good for Pikachu. Not all dragons are dragon types. This outfit shows off Gyarados' power as a dragon. What's that you say? Gyarados isn't a dragon type Pokemon. Not all dragons are dragon type Pokemon. I know, I, uh, I made a whole video about this recently. The Charizard paradox. You should watch it. Are you trying to sleep? Yes, no, shut up. After 28 years of Pokemon, 
We still never seen a grass type elite four member. Oh, is that the only type that's never gotten an elite four specialist? Okay, it's definitely not the only one. We've also never gotten electric and like normal kind of cause like Larry, but he was like flying for the elite four battle. Those might be no fairy. I don't think we've had fairy. Fairy's also much newer. I think both grass and electric. Wow. Would he have summoned Rayquaza in France? Legend ZA, Mega Rayquaza. That was what it was. You agreed to give black white remakes. I lied. I saw they posted a lot more than just Reshiram and Sekrom on that social media though. Very surprising though that it's not Unova. A Rowlet and a Talon Flame napping. What? Why does that Spinarak look so different? Wait, it's on a stick. Ah! What the hell? Ugh. A solo run comic. JK, it's mostly about orange. <gasps> it's me. I just had to go through a whole region with only a mill tank. I kind of blacked out when going to Kanto, but my game data shows that I beat that with mill tank too. Ew. <laughs> Pastel she devil. <laughs> I like how all the other variants also hate mill tank. <laughs> Most insufferable Michael is now not orange. It's this guy. Let me just, here you go. Orange used to have this because, I mean, you've met him. Ben, you know why. Anyway, a mill tank user deserves it more. What? That's not fair. I hate mill tank. And I'm literally the reason any of you exist. So, <laughs> my title, my precious title taken from me again. <laughs> It's just like blue, just like blue. Oh, I guess it's the same. It's just uh, all over again, lose our titles over and over again. Turn a champion, oh, it's just fallen forever. Jesus, you can have this back, man. I can't stress enough how little I wanted. <laughs> back in my day, people weren't given participation trophies, but you can't have it back now, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. The entire competitive scene at the moment. There's a minimum 20% of Mega Incineroar being added into the game. Yes, but also like Legend ZA is not going to be the new competitive game you use. Like they're gonna keep using Scarlet and Violet for a while. Legends Arceus didn't even have peer-to-peer -peer battling. Game Freak, Gen 5, Gen 6. Yeah, I mean, I'm still surprised, but also it, it makes them less predictable, which is kind of fun. And to be fair to Gen 6, Gen 6, X and Y were the only mainline games to not get anything new in the same generation that they were released. So Red Blue got Yellow, Gold Silver got Crystal, Ruby Sapphire got Emerald, Diamond Pearl got Platinum, Black and White got Black 2, White 2, Sun and Moon got Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sword and Shield got their DLC and Scarlet and Violet got its DLC. But X and Y never got Z until now. So they're just playing catch up, you know? You've heard of Trans Sylveon, I introduce you to non-binary Aegislash. I actually think that works because I do think that Aegislash is genderless. How does Aegislash kill their victims? They slash them. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> Legend ZA starter speculation. How about instead of looking at this spreadsheet? Don't look at it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Look at me. You watch my video where I do this exact analysis. Another Saxolotl comic. I refuse to let a mill tank user be champion for regions I rule the skies of. I must challenge you to a battle. Now, now, Michael, let's not be rash here. Oh, Milkman Mike, he looks... He looks terrifying. Like, not like scary, but like devious. Why not talk this out over a glass of milk? Or maybe a milkshake, a sky shake, actually. I just flavored it. I flavored it just for you. It's all yours if you accept milk tank is. Well, let's compromise on half decent sky shake. Guessing your beat up the milk tank user plan didn't work out so well, huh? <laughs> just. <laughs> it's time for you to look inward and begin asking yourself the big questions. Is it pronounced Pokemon Legends Z2A or Pokemon Legends ZA? I am going to keep saying ZA for now because it is easier. And then if they say it verbally in any official media, I will change if necessary. And now for the curated slideshow. Me coming to the sub to see de some decent Pokemon memes. I can't find any, so I'll just wait to see what Katie finds for Aspida Pie. Well, I have great news. She finds lots of great stuff every time. And it's always this list and it always surprises me. Three riddles Mikey might get. <gasps> the riddles from last time. The first three riddles are more straightforward than most. I tried to make them harder as it went on. My certain specialty is sleep. I don't walk, I creep. My body is red, orange, red. What I keep alive keeps me dead. Qua Pokemon am I? Is that Koi? Is that French? Hurley Vu? That is French. Okay, so it's gotta be a Kalos Pokemon. What I keep alive. 
The mushroom keeps me dead. Why the quaw though? I'm a little Pokemon short and stout. Here is a hunter, here on my route. When he sees my bottom, hear him shout. I'll level specifically if you bring it out. What? <laughs> oh, this is, okay. I, I thought it was gonna be a tea related one. I'm like Sinister or Poltegeist. Here's a hunter here on my route. When he sees my bottom, hear him shout. Authentic Sinisty. I'll evolve specifically if you bring it out, uh, like an item to evolve it with. So this one's Sinisty. I, I'm saying the first one's Parasect. I don't understand the qua, but like, I don't wanna spend too long on these. <laughs> My many forms are a pain for collection. You'll need to ask both Londoners and Texan. <gasps> I'm Texan. I think I can be caught, you're mistaken. I live my life with a mark of the Satan. Satan! My many forms are a pain for collection. Mini ore? It's got five points, like a pentagram, I guess. I'm gonna say mini ore. In an off-colored race, I'm the only one I on. If I can evolve, then my chance at fighting will be gone. Clock-like counter, then back to a clock. Despite hitting that stone, I do love a good rock. A Pokemon that gets worse when it evolves? Well, this is the one they said I'd Doubt I will. Let's just look at the answers. Number one, my guess was Parasect. Harris, oh, come on! French because Paris pun. Oh. I'm counting that as a win. I was close enough. Number two, I said Sinisty, authentic. Nice, nice. Specifically shiny antique, whatever. The third, my guess was Minior. Vivillon. Oh, because its forms are based on geographic location. Okay. And its Pokedex is 666. All right. Last one, Politide. Politoed, I'm kidding. Oh, because it evolves and therefore it is not a fighting type instead of water fight. Okay. Gotcha. That was fun. Ooh, some crochet, a Munchlax, a shiny Magikarp, and a Gengar. That Gengar is so cute. He's trying to boop me. Oh my goodness. Your snake is so cool! I hope it sees me as a friend and not prey. Because if it sees me as prey, well, then it has excellent taste. Oh wait, that's John. This is like, <laughs> it's my video being watched by someone else, which is in then a new video that's being watched by a snake and someone is filming that snake watching the video, thus creating a new video. <laughs> Ooh, John. It's not too late to forfeit, Mikey. Your si silly little flying types don't stand a chance against my superior frogs. That's where you're wrong, John. For no matter how high they jump, your frogs will never be able to touch the sky. That's rich coming from someone with a crush on Drowsy. Or at least I know what a sandy guest is. Team Frog! Team Sky! Let's battle! That's fun. I feel it important though to inform you that Team Frog doesn't actually exist anywhere but this comic. Play more esports. The new draft league stuff, like competitive battling. Very fun, I watch every episode. New Megas for Legend ZA, or Mega Venusaur. That's fighting type fun. Mega Arbok, Arbok's a good one. Mega Doug Trio. Mega Machamp, even more arms! Mega Blastoise Y. Mega Dragonite. Dragonite. My goodness, there's so many. Mega Octillery is really funny. <laughs> Gotta have Mega Flygon. Yep, Mega Breloom would be amazing. Grass Dark, no way. Keep Mega Breloom as grass fighting. Doesn't make sense for it to go dark type. Mega Gliscor just is normal Gliscor, but with a couple extra pincers coming out of its back. <laughs> Mega Excadrill is cool though. I like the spikes. Oh, and Mega Gigalith is so awesome. Big fan of that one. Mega Vikavolt is very cool. I would love if they gave Vikavolt a Mega that actually made it fast. My concept art for a Dotrio evolution, Do Quadro. Also a wooden Team Sky Emblem I made. Ooh, the Team Sky Emblem's super cool. I like the Do Quadro. Is one always asleep? <laughs> Grunty boy, highly out of context. I'm going to space. Have they? Ah, look at me go! <laughs> I'm so fast! More doing weird. Give me the special seat. What? No, the, hey! Adventure! I'm gonna be an elf. I thirst for speed! Would it help you at all to buy products from Japan? <laughs> 20 years ago I was nine, so I don't know what you're on about. You're a wizard, Grunty. To the forest. Shh, shut up! But anyways, no, it blew up. Oh, come on, your injuries <laughs> weren't that grievous. <sighs> it's just water. Oh, never, we always have a rip snorting good time. I am hungry. Dastardly deed of doom. 
That's so fun. It's crazy how many of these Grunty Boy bits that he and I have done together. And I like seeing clips of them because a lot of times I forget some of the jokes that are in them. <laughs> so I get to enjoy them and laugh at them again. I think I went overboard with this. I've traveled the skies of many worlds and earths and now I'm ready. I would like to join Team Sky. Here's my team from many worlds. A Breezy and Shinx <gasps> from the gym game. Flycore, yes, yes. Ogre Pound knew the Pokemon known as the Loyal Three in this world were being controlled and made new masks to free them. But all we care about is that Pheasant Dippity is a flying type now. Ha <laughs> ha that's fun. Oh, and it has a terrestrial form when the mask gets big. A wise sage of braviary. Wow. UB 979 Meteorology. <laughs> Weapon X. The skies were darkened by an evil ruler who lived in the skies as part of the resistance. <gasps> He's talking about night sky. This is so creative. Sceptile finally flies! <clears throat> Unique to only one small island in a single earth on a nearly in inhabitable island, the sceptiles on the island have adapted to fly away from the enemies and catch their food. If they can't get any, they'll resort to eating parts of their own bodies. Oh God, nice, nice. Different universes can have different forms of mega evolution. This mega Gyarados can jump out of the water and can even fly around the planet. That's so cool. I love all the different ones including some references to the actual series. I'm the only one that sees this. Pokemon Legends ZA. Why, you just gave the A pants? Just like, you just like feet? <laughs> Pokemon with unused type combos for my South American region. Ooh. I would like them to make a region that's not anywhere in Europe, the US, or Japan. Hippupine. Porcupine. That's cool. Oh, Pupink. Cerodello. That's fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> Llamas. Different llamas. Ooh. Cry skull. Cry -a Cry skeletal. That's so fun. Ooh, a dart gun Pokemon. That's cool. Ooh. I love the colors on that. Ah, regional variant of Glammeow. Glammeow's been very forgotten. And of course, poor ugly. Oh, and it evolves again. Look at that crazy thing. <laughs> I like the regional Minchino. It's just. He's just not as happy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Dino is nice now. Look at the happy high dragon and the hard eyes. <laughs> could Megas be alphas? I think it's a very real possibility that we could encounter wild mega evolutions in Legend ZA. I don't know where, because the whole thing's gonna be in one city, but still, I really hope they make Megas for the starters. Ah, Mega Cinderace. That's pretty cool. I like the ears being back like that. Ooh, Mega Empoleon. I like the the mask. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. I was I was surprised at first, but that's cool. We're the best duo. No, we are. Step aside. Aw. We have a Patreon if you want to see more of our stuff. We make videos together uh, like uh, once a week. So if you want to see more of me and John doing stuff together. Patreon.com slash John Michael and Co. Linked in the description below. This guy, Milkman Mike, seems pretty chill. If you have not watched the Mill Tank playthrough all the way through, do so. Do so before we look at this meme. Five, four, three, two, one. He is pretty chill. Chilled, actually. Uh, that was so cold. <laughs> like, I, I, I like said like in a blooper that I included, like, you know, oh, it's only 60 degrees out here. I'm like, they're like, people are like, oh, it's only 60, it's 32 where I am. And I'm like, yeah, I know it's colder in other places. I would not have done that if it was 32 degrees outside. That milk was like 35. <laughs> It was straight out of the fridge. I bought it and came home and filmed this. <laughs> and 60 degrees is not a hot day. So drenching my hat and clothes and then the wind blows on a not hot day through soaked cold clothing, I thought I might get hypothermia. <laughs> I went inside and just like got in a hot shower and just laid there. <laughs> It was, it was freezing. So don't be like, it's colder where I am. You're not covered in milk. Meowskerate a ballin. I'll pick one or two Pokemon in the comments to add to this image next month. <laughs> oh, this is a Unite art. It took me a second to figure out what the hell was happening. <laughs> That's cool. Aw, that style looks familiar, but I can't place it. It's cute though. Miltank, Whitney's Miltank, Mikey. <laughs> yeah, the battles in that playthrough were either extremely easy or insanely difficult and very little in between. Claire's was in between because I did win first try, but it was a little close, but like, 
My gosh. Petition to make Mikey jump out of a plane at 3 million subscribers. Absolutely not. For multiple reasons. Um, One is I have no interest in ever going skydiving. I am a pretty risk averse person. I don't think it would provide me any kind of satisfaction. I've heard it ruins roller coasters. Um, So I just don't have any interest in doing that. I'm a big safety guy. But also additionally, um, why would you care? Mikey was my childhood YouTuber and I still watch him to this day. Let's go. I've been around a long time. <laughs> One thing that John told me sometime is that I do a good job of making content that kids can enjoy but won't grow out of. And ever since he told me that, I'm like, that's my goal. I'm gonna make stuff that my younger viewers will enjoy, but as they get up and get into high school and college and beyond, they're still like, this is a lot of fun. I was eight when I started watching Mikey and now I'm 14. Okay, you are still in your childhood for the record, but like that is six years. So that's, that's very impressive. Mikey's definitely made a bigger impact on my life than I'd like to admit. Sometimes it was really hard for me to find reasons to keep going, but in those hard times, Mikey was always one of my reasons. I always love Mikey's videos, but the whole Team Sky arc has brought me so much joy the whole time it's been around. Whenever I'm sad, I just watch Team Sky videos and know how many times I've seen them and they never get old. That is incredibly sweet, Luca the Dinosaur. I really appreciate you watching my stuff. And middle school's hard. <laughs> like, like, I get it. My middle school experience sucked. <laughs> but then, like... First part of high school wasn't great. Second part of high school was getting bet was like pretty good. And then college was very good. So like I, um, it gets better, but I'm very glad my videos have helped you get through middle school, which like I feel for most people just pretty universally sucks. Any idea for the next legends game? Gen five, gen two, gen six. And then he throws out the other two. <laughs> oh, I thought you were dead. My death was uh, greatly exaggerated. Yes, indeed. I thought it was funny seeing the reactions of people like the mega evolution icon is shown at the end and they like have another freak out and mine is just like i see it and i'm like well yeah it's kalos of course we have mega evolution back <laughs> <laughs> took me a second but i got it <laughs> melee tank you're weak i'm you no my melee tank is strictly superior michael milkman mike <laughs> me when they announced pokemon legend z at the end of the pokemon presents i was not expecting that but I was expecting not to expect something, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Fair enough. I didn't know what to expect, but I thought it was gonna be Unova, so I was uh, flabbergasted. Mega Beware. Ooh, fairy fighting. That's a good typing for a Mega Beware. Milk Van Mike. Look at that, that's so fun. Beat art of my favorite boy. Oh, that's lovely. You like Mil Tank, don't you, Mikey? <laughs> my application for Team Sky. You're accepted immediately. And also all three of your Pokemon are actually flying type. You found a shiny Articuno in Fire Red? That's crazy. Definitely worthy of a Team Sky inclusion. Start, start, er, er. Pokemon, Pokemon, starter Pokemon, first partner Pokemon. Do they not call them starters? That's weird. Actually, I didn't know they didn't call them starters because no one else refers to them as first partner Pokemon. That's like way too wordy. I love emus, KT, an emu Pokemon. I accept. I also like emus. I think strong enough to beat Miltank is another Miltank. Oh, that's me versus Whitney. This challenge is pretty easy. Steelix, Machamp, Onyx. <laughs> The stupid dragon breath. I 3D printed Ogre Pond's masks. That's pretty cool. A Kalo Smeargle with heavy inspiration on Picasso. Oh, that's actually really creative. <laughs> Milkman Mike and Miltank. Look at that. And Milkman Mike is shredded. I appreciate the compliment. Team Sky be like, Sky. <laughs> God. More Milkman Mike. Uh, fan art, that's so cute. I'm just so happy to be there. And by I, I mean Milkman Mike, different guy. More Milkman Mike fan art, fantastic. Side note, I feel like I need to add that costume that I bought for it, worst quality costume I've ever purchased. <laughs> like, just like the stitching was a, was fraying out of the bag. The bow tie was supposed to be, like came attached and the slightest force ripped it off and we had to bobby pin it back on. <laughs> and that was the last thing. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Pokemon meme review. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you wanna check out some more of my videos, there's one on screen right now that YouTube thinks that you will love that you haven't seen yet. And so you should watch that. It's going to be great. I make good videos. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all.